Insert door in. Hey, what's up, guys? Space Cookie here. Oh, you can email me at arcade player one. That's the number one at yahoo.com for any questions or comments or anything you might want to talk about. All right, you guys. Uh, I get some emails from Xbox Def uh, asking how to. Uh, hide Windows XP on his arcade cabinet or for his arcade uh, and this is what you do. I'm gonna send you this file and when you get it what you're gonna do and the first thing I want to say is I accept no responsibility for when you use this if, if it screws up your system that's the same disclaimer that came with it when I got it so I'm just telling you the same thing I will not be held responsible. Um, so what you do is you double click it you get a screen that pops up and the first thing at the top it says application to shell that's the first thing we're going to do go browse and here you're going to look for your maximus arcade exec mine is here maximus arcade so there it is maximus arcade application maximus arcade front end double click it now it should be loaded up here uh, as to application to shell and then boot logo uh, the boot logo, you can make your own. Um, I'll send you one or two of them. Uh, they have to be a, they have to be 8 bit or 16 bit, uh, 640 by 480. Um, let's see, the one I use is uh, it's the Mame boot. So we'll go ahead and double click that. So now we have that loaded. Okay, so now that we got um, the boot logo done, uh, your next options you have a uh, replace cursor, replace cursors with dots, including login. What this is, is uh, if this is checked, your mouse will turn into one little pixel. Uh, if you don't need to use your mouse for anything, if you're just constantly playing arcade games and you do not need your mouse, this is a good thing to check. Otherwise, it is a pain in the ass to try to see the mouse if you need to navigate for anything. Um, I mean, it's up to you. I mean, if you... Eh, I don't even know how to explain it. It's going to be... Your mouse is going to be one little pixel size. And it's really hard to see. So that's... If you want to do it, that's on you. Um, I'm not going to do it right now because I'm not even using this program right now. This is just to show you. Uh, turn off window event sounds. You want to have that checked. Height startup. Log on shutdown screens and set auto login. You want that checked. Set background and wallpaper to black. Have that checked. Disable windows animations. Have that checked. Replace boot screen, you want that checked because this is uh, the picture you want. Uh, change shell for only current user. What that means is, uh, let's say I have a logon on my Windows XP called Arcade, and then I have another one called Space Googie. Well, if I shell it only for Arcade, I'll be able to access you know, my Space Googie you know, without having you know, all this stuff done. So if you have two accounts, you might want to check that. If not, don't worry about it. And then, of course, change shell application. You want that checked because that is for the first thing we did. When everything's ready to go, you click I'm ready, do it. You get a confirmation that this is done. To apply everything, reboot Windows. Note, to undo the changes made, simply run instant sheller again. Ensure you're logged into the same user when you were, un uh, when you were undoing. That's pretty much the same thing uh, I kind of just said. So then you restart. And if it was successful, when you restart, uh, everything will be shelled and changed. Okay, so here we go. You'll get a quick little bio screen and then that's it. And then the rest of, of it is, is going to be hidden. So we get the main uh, boot screen. And it all depends, it varies system by system, how long it takes for everything to load up. Uh, mine takes a while because I have so much crap on this hard drive and it's just, it's nuts. So it's not as fast as it, as it used to be before I started adding a bunch of stuff. Um, if you didn't include, uh, if you if you checked off the hide the mouse cursor, you won't even see the mouse. You'll have just a black screen. Uh, absolutely all black until Maximus boots. So there you go. Windows is completely hidden. And there you go, you're in Maximus Arcade. Now, to get it back, it's a little tricky. Hopefully you don't. <laughs>
Um, sometimes this will open, my documents opens by itself, sometimes it doesn't. If it doesn't, if you completely have a black screen, uh, even if you do have my documents, what you're going to do is uh, control alt delete to bring up task manager, like so. Go to task manager, you're going to go to file, go to new, and you're going to search for the instant sheller program. Just navigate, go by browse, navigate for it. And then once you have it, it's the same program we use to shell windows. Click OK. It's going to bring up the program. Close, close Task Manager. Undo changes. You click Undo changes. Uh, I'm not going to do it because uh, I'm, not, I'm going to keep it like this. Undo changes. Do Control Alt Delete again. Bring up Task Manager. Go to Shutdown. Restart. Restart your system, and you'll be back the way you were. So there you go.